Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to this uh, CarTech video. In this video we're going to show you some live data and graphing for the iCarSoft CR Pro Kit. CR Pro Kit is a really good tool which covers all makes and models and uh, it is available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com and I'll put a link to this kit in the description below this video. So um, we have the tool plugged into the diagnostic port here and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go into diagnostics and we're going to show you some of the, the live data that you would generally expect to be able to retrieve. So I'm just going to select our vehicle now. Obviously everybody has their own reasons for get, wanting to get certain bits of live data. Uh, I suspect in the main you're probably going to want live data from the engine system. So that's where we're going to go first of all. I'm going to go to the engine electronics and we've got options here. We, first of all view the module information, a um, bit of information about the vehicle but also if we scroll down to uh, view data, this is the live data section. So it's giving us, each car is going to be different with what it can cope with, what, it, what live data it can actually spit out. But in this particular circumstance, we've got 15 subsections of uh, live data. So if I click into the first one, first of all, boost pressure control, it, we've now got eight sections. If we go to the camshaft, we've got four there, giving us all of the live data. If we go to catalytic converter and diesel particulate filler, we've got 12. Diesel, we've got seven. Fuel system, we've got six. General, we've got nine. Input signals, two. Load detection, four. Mixture formation, 17. Oil pressure, two. Power supply, three. And reducing agent, USA and Canada, 25. Start stop 57. Wow, temperatures that'll be a good one 18 and throttle valve 7. So let's have a look at some actual live data instead of just talking about it. Uh, we'll go into the diesel particulate filler because I think that is quite a popular one. And these are the 12 options that we've got, so we can go through each one of these. Or what I would recommend is just click on F1. To select all of them and then press F2 to start and that basically gives you live data for everything that it will um, that, it, that, it, that it can basically so we got different banks we've got banks um, particulate diesel particulate filter measured soup mass loads so we've got different values for different sections of the DPF system so we can see here we've got uh, the, the oil ash volume is 0 0.23 distance since last DPF regeneration, um, it's quite a lot. So I'll scroll down and just have a look at the information. And obviously, you take you take what you need from the the relevant information. Obviously, all of the information that we're getting on this car will be completely different to the information you get on your car. Well, there we go. I mean, if I put my foot on the accelerator, you're probably going to find fluctuating values change quite a bit but that's DPF or what what sorry what I, well I'll show you in a different one actually uh, because let's go to let's go to fuel system for example and go F1 F2 to start them all so again we've got fuel metering fuel reserve high pressures sensors for these pressures um, let's go to general and let's click on to F1 again, F2 for all and what you can do is let's say for example this one here camshaft speed um, we've got three it's generally fluctuating and uh, staying at around about 350 but if I put my foot on the accelerator it's going up to 500 there depending on how much you put on the accelerator so if I want to get graphing data for this I'm going to click on to F1 well you can record it first of all but you can also click on F1 and here is the graphing data live data as it's actually happening put my foot on the accelerator there it's spiked up um, so you can run this basically for as long as you want um, I'm going to go back, see if I can get some engine data 
on something else. RPM might be a quite a good one as well. If I just click on F1, and we're going to get the, the RPM is something that generally does sort of fluctuate. It stays in and around the same area, but you're never going to get an exact straight line, um, like a dead heartbeat, unfortunately. But that's that's a sign of a healthy car when it's fluctuating up and down like that. And that's exactly what we want to see. So this is the type of thing you can get. You know, you can get it with all of your oil temperatures, your your coolant temperatures. You can get it for all of your O2 sensors, your camshaft sensors, as as we're seeing here, the engine RPM. You can also get live data for ABS sensors, any part of the engine system. You know, all parts of the the mixtures, everything you can think of. It will give it will spit out live data for, which is I think is really really important if you're looking to nail down. On a specific fault, um, you, as I say, you can also record the data. You can view the data back, so it gives you a good idea of exactly what was happening at a certain point. Um, but yeah, so that's the that's the RPMs. Let's have a look at um, something outside of the engine system. So we've got a faulty ABS sensor in this car, so we're going to click into the PSM system and click on to read fault codes. So it's a front left ABS sensor fault that we've got, but we're going to scroll down to live data. So uh, let's click on all and click on 2F2 to start. So this is going to give us live data for the ABS system as well. So what you really would probably be interested in is if you were sort of trying to figure out which f speed sensor was folly, if there was one, uh, drive the vehicle and get somebody to look at these values or, or record them and drive the car. So you can see that we're not driving anywhere, so the values are showing at zero at the moment. Um, but let's say, for example, we took it for a drive and um, the rear. The rear wheels were, were giving values here, but the front left probably wouldn't because it's broken. So um, that gives you an indication that it's a it's confirmation really that a, 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 there's a fault with that particular sensor. And one more bit of uh, one more way of getting live data from the engine system actually is if you go to a really generic part of the tool and you click into the OED2 section. Just go down to live data, all supported, and it gives us a further, how many more, 26 bits of information. So this is really uh, valuable information. The engine coolant temperature, 88 degrees, vehicle speed zero, engine speeds, air intake temperature, air flow rate from the MAF sensor, absolute throttle position, fuel rail pressure, oxygen sensors, um, barometric pressure, relative throttle position, air ambient temperature, accelerator, pedal position, and you name it, engine, engine oil temperature. So there are lots of different ways to get live data from this tool and it's it's an absolutely fantastic tool i'd recommend it to anybody anybody who has a car and wants to look after their own car and they want to sort of maybe learn about the live data and how the car works and how the engine system uh relays data back to us um obviously it will also cover your main systems like engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, oil service reset if you wanted to find faults in those systems, uh, oil service, electronic park and brake, new battery registration, electronic throttle control, steering angle sensor, DPF, ABS brake bleeding and injector coding. And um, the vehicle coverage, may as well cover that as well. BMW, Mini, Land Rover, Jaguar, Mercedes, Smart, Sprinter, VW, Audi, Skoda, Seat, Porsche, Volvo, Saab, Opel, Fiat, Alfa, Lancia, Peugeot, Citroen, Renault, Dacia, General Motors, Jeep, Chrysler, Ford, Holden, Toyota, Lexus, Sion, Nissan, Infiniti, Acura, Honda, Subaru, Mitsubishi, Mazda, Isuzu, Suzuki, Kia, Hyundai and Daewoo. And there we go, it is available at Diagnostic World, it's www.diagnostic-world.com and I'm going to put a link to this kit in the description below this video. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.